Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Darkseid Walker and before we get into today's run I want to apologize for missing my upload yesterday. I ended up having one of the rare full days at work and had some other problems to take care of earlier in the day beforehand. So it just ended up boiling down to I didn't have enough time and I apologize. But let's go ahead and get into what today's run is and it is going to be the first theme run for the week. Now, I do notice that this week's poll only got two total votes, one for each character. And I find that to be a little disappointing and makes me think that maybe I should put the theme runs on hold for a while, like maybe they're just not just not up to the same standard of being interesting that they used to be. But that does mean that I have to be the tiebreaker and I think I am going to choose to do Revali first. So again, thank you everyone for voicing your opinions, those of you who did. The rest of you, come on, keep up. So, here's what we got going on. I chose the Rule Robe because just about everything I have is a strong single strike. And also Revali wears blue, so there you go. He is an archer, so I figured the Gloves of Gambit would be a good pick. Then everything else is meant to be essentially an elemental arrow. Like, with the Bouncing Surge being Lightning Arrows. The Exploding Fireball would be, oh, let me guess, Fire Arrows? No, Exploding Arrows, dumbass. Revali flies rather quickly, so Razor Burst makes good sense. And Aqua Arc is about as close as it gets to me having just regular old arrows. So that's why I took that. There's no real location I want to start at immediately, so let's just jump into it. Hey, look at that! For once, I don't have to do Atlas on spot 3. Now, having to deal with him at all is a real pain. It's just, if a run is going to kill me, it's probably going to kill me because of Atlas in spot 3, because his minions are just so damn annoying. Alright, so, we know what Ramali is. He's an archer. He's also a bird. But... But what... But I don't need, I don't want to know what Ramali is. I want to know who Ramali is. Well, Ramali is one of the champions in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I can't assume that all of you have played that game automatically, so... The setup. Calamity Ganon is about to strike. And if you're wondering how Calamity Ganon is different from just regular old Ganon, it's basically Ganon with, you know, with a little bit less upper, upper brain intelligence and a little bit more pure hatred and malice. I guess after Skyward Sword, you could you could make the point of well, he seems like the most natural, the most natural thing for Demise to become, and, and to an extent, yeah. But I mean. It was also very obvious that Demise was basically like the proto Ganondorf. So for that to become just a black, a black and purple swirling mist is beyond. It, it's it's a logical process that confounds my brain. It's, like to be fair, it's not that difficult to confound my brain. But, anything about about Dr. Song if I find a I find an extra arcana just sitting around because much of my money has already spoken why did that not bounce I thought your name was bouncing surge why do you betray me like this? Well, I mean, you know, that's one way to do it. Blazing Onslaught has no real place in, in my build, not gonna lie. And I don't really want to give up... 
give up Bouncing Surge for Dr. Song's <sighs> services. So, probably just gonna have to let that go, unfortunately. Alright, so to continue with the with the setup for Breath of the Wild. So amongst the tribes of of Hyrule, there is the Rito, the Goron, the Gerudo, and the Zora. Revali comes from the from the Rito tribe, which are a tribe of bird people, which you might not be aware of if you haven't played Wind Waker. But for those of you who have, welcome to something familiar. Um, is there one more battle room over here? So it would seem. Oh, hello Jade Chakra Locket. I will certainly take that. Now let's go take on the boss. But first, I am going to pick up the Wanderer's Mechanism. Not just because it's going to make my signature stronger. Looks like it's already done the job, honestly. Alright, so that actually confirms something for me about the Wanderer's Mechanism, so... I'll get back to talking about Revali in a minute, but what I just learned is that the Wanderer's Mechanism powers up your signature even when it doesn't have a signature charge. It just powers up the spell in that slot, which I think is fan freaking tastic. That makes Wanderer's Mechanism even better than it was before, and I feel stupid for just smashing my face into that boulder. Now, some of you might have, might have already known that about Wanderer's Mechanism. I'm just now learning that, so... If you're about to type in some sort of comment like, Dark Sage, you're so dumb, then please keep in mind that it's one of those things I would have found out eventually, but... You know. Alright, so I am... So one of these two I'm going to take... And mostly it's because I'm not worried about my critical hit chance, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to take the Tipsy Gladius, because this is going to give me a 15% evasion chance, and that is, as you've seen and as you've seen in the past, any amount of evasion possibility is nice. Do you have anything good to sell me? Captain's Ring. Ooh, I love it, but I also want to see what else is available. So, going outside of what Rivaldi is, which that should seem obvious, he's, you know, Birdman Archer. Alright, so that's all that's all pretty easy to figure out. So now I think it's time to step into who Rivali is, and there's no nice way to put it, so let's just I obviously with the what the theme of what the theme of this week's poll was, it should seem pretty obvious, but and it, to me it kinda goes beyond that because you know, so the a little bit of Hi Cecil, how you doing pal? Hi. I know you're upset with Riku because she's just kind of sitting there over there on top of her cage and not doing it. Not like coming over and keeping you company. I get that, but you gotta, you gotta be nice to me. What the fuck is that all about?
really. Ugh. I think it's fair to say that I'm not exactly performing super well right now. It's like, geez, take a day off from Wizard of Legend because you've got work and all of a sudden you can't play when you get back to it. And then, yes, we pick up Captain's Ring because that's amazing. I don't think that's going to lower my cooldowns enough to make that worthwhile, so... Alright, now we can start shredding through enemies a lot more easily now. So, in order to get Captain's Ring boosted, I would like to pick up something Earth Elemental, but something Earth Elemental that fits into the theme of Archer? I don't know. And I almost exclusively had to have to be looking for something like Obsidian Cascade. <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked again. This happens to me a lot. So like I said, you probably saw it coming considering the theme of this of this week's poll, but Romali is a giant asshole. Now, I mean, it's, we, may, we may as well just not beat around the bush on that. Let's just call it for what it is. Romali is an enormous giant douchebag. Shock Nova doesn't really fit for the theme, so I'm going to leave it. But in, And I don't just mean he's, you know, he's just a jerk. He's like, oh, look at that guy. He's, whatever the whatever a male carrot is. No, Rivali is an, an enormous, an enormous shit-eating, I, I can't stand anything about you mega douche. And I will qualify that statement. In Breath of the Wild, when you when you first when you first get in, get your memory of Rivali, the first the first thing that Link remembers about Rivali is him basically saying, "What this guy? He can't possibly be a knight. Look at him. He doesn't." It's like, I don't even know exactly what he says because. My first thought was to tune it out and go, wow, you're just that dismissive of someone you've never met. Also, my work, my aim seems to be worse than usual today. And that, that is the first impression that they want you to get about Revolve. It's like, okay, yeah, he's, he's a person who puts a lot of stake into his into his training, he's a he's a practiced warrior. I get all of that. None of that is in all odds. But you're just gonna you're just gonna completely dismiss someone. Apparently, Rivali. Uh, that's not really. Again, I can't take that as an arrow. It's not an arrow. I mean, I know it's. Don't get me wrong, Aqua Beam is fun. I love Aqua Beam. But part of the problem is that an arrow isn't something that it, that does sustained damage. It's like a one-shot burst. Could this possibly be the perfect time, Crystal? Oh, yes. Um, yeah, there's nothing here that really is what I'm looking for. I mean, that's kind of an arrow, but is, would this be like the I'm gonna rush forward and s actually just stab with an arrow move? You know, otherwise known as the Legolas? 
or I don't know. I, to me, that's that's not again. It's not quite arrow. Plus, it doesn't fit the build very well. All right, perfect time crystals killing it. I am going to take the wall of vigor just in case. Yeah, none of this is something I'm wanting to spend my money on. I think I will get the Sparrow Windstone, though. But if you thought Rivali was a jerk just for being a dismissive super, super douche in Breath of the Wild, oh, it gets so much worse in Age of Calamity. Like, I don't know what, what notes Koei Tecmo were given about Rivali, but they decided to, to turn the douche meter up to freaking 11. Like, well, how can you say that? Is it really that bad? Just to give you an idea, your very first encounter with Rivali, he's a boss. Like, every, every, when you go to recruit the the champions, everyone else is, everyone else is relatively friendly and kind of understanding what's going on. They're willing to hear out Zelda, they... Like, there's nothing wrong with any of them. Rivali's first first order of business is, yeah, I don't know who you are, so I'm just gonna have I'm gonna have my soldiers ambush you. And then when you come to talk to me face to face, I'm just gonna start shooting you. Why? Because fuck you. I don't need a reason. I'm Rivali. I've been fed a strict diet of douchebag and asshole. This will help them. Kind of makes me wonder why I picked up the wallet of vigor now. But, oh well. How was I supposed to know I was going to find that here on this floor? Well, that was stressful, and ultimately led me nowhere, so yay. But yeah, Rivali does not beat around the bush when it comes to turning up the douchebag dial in Age of Calamity. And that's the thing, even after you even after you beat him and you know, get him get him to join the champions in being one of the divine beast pilots. Like, he still is, he still thinks of himself as, like, Lord Supreme High shit, like, thank you, game, for not allowing me to dodge out of the way of that. Well, I see two things here I want, one of which I will immediately jump all over. other of which I'm going to wait to pick up, because I want to see if there is anything in, Do in Dr. Song, in Iris's catalog that I want to pick up. Wonderfully done. Now, some people really like those, those like super arrogant, I'm the best thing that's ever existed, so worship the ground I walk on characters. 
not really my thing, though. Know? Like, Rivali just makes me feel a little disgusted. Like, he's just not a good person. Like, I can't... I don't feel like I can trust the... Trust the safety of Hyrule to, uh, to board Mega Douche. And I, one would think that, you know, he's going to go through some sort of, you know, growth period, some sort of growth arc. Like, you know, one would expect when a character starts off as nearly irredeemable. And then you get through the entirety of the game, and he just kind of continues to be irredeemable throughout the entire way. Like, even when you're just choosing to go into a mission with him, he's... Oh, he grates on my nerves so much. You can tell... Like, just listening to the way I talk about him, it's like, God, I hate this character so much. Ow. And like I said, other people may have a different opinion on Revali, and that's absolutely fine. I, I get it, we all... We all like who we like. Like as an example, I may not be a big fan of the like of the very arrogant douchebag character, but I'm a big fan of characters like Dante. Characters who, although cocky, are at the very least somewhat like they're redeemable. Like Dante is a character that I could just sit down and have a conversation with. Like he's not he's not constantly being judgmental of the people around him. He, he can't be friendly. I don't think I've ever seen Rivali be friendly. Wow, that was just an awful shot. But as for, as for why, if I dislike Rivali as a character so much, do I want? Did I want to do his theme run first? Very simply put, it was easier to easier to design. Like I had very little trouble, very little trouble coming up with how I wanted to structure structure Rivali's theme run. Zadrana, I'm going to need to go back and. You know, have a look at her dialogues, check out more about the character to really, to really understand what it is I'm going to do with her. With Rivali, it was easy. It's like, what, what of these things can I make to be elemental arrows? Cool, let's go. It's just a shame that I find Rivali to be such a, such an irredeemable character. But I, I think that might have been the point because he was supposed to go through an arc. But in Age of Calamity, this was before he went through that arc. And there are moments to show when he's like becoming more trusting. But again, I find them to be few and far between. Few and far between is look at me being enormous douchebag. Whereas Zdrada is just kind of a jerk of a character just because she, because of, you know, again, it's for, 
it's more for historical lore. I guess mythological lore is probably more accurate. I mean, it's not, it's not like she was a real person or anything. Can't really say I'm big into any of these. Like, maybe making rogues and archers have fewer spells, but I don't know. That just doesn't. It's not doing it for me. Fortunately, I'm allowed to be picky. Alright, so I am going to pick up Flame Fusion. Flame Fusion to me is very much fire arrows. Just with a particularly interesting shotgun effect. Oh my god. Oh, there was some very questionable hitboxes there. Alright, so we've now got the equivalent to electric arrows, exploding arrows, and fire arrows. Still need ice arrows and something that I can use as an earth elemental something. I am going to take this. Reason being, merchant's cart. It's when it when it comes to Rivali though, like he is actually a, a decently powered character in Age of Calamity. Like he's legit, he's legit really good. But I can't stand playing as him because he's got such a revolting personality. And I don't want anyone saying, "Well, why do, why does that matter? If he's a good character, then shut up." It matters because there's only so much you can generally take of a person like that. And I'd like to point out, that's not me complaining about either Breath of the Wild or Age of Calamity. Like, they actually went out of their way to craft a character that was unlikable. Which is more than you can say for characters that don't even move the needle at all. Like, there's a lot of characters like that. Characters that, you know, if you didn't tell me their name, I would never know it, because why would I give a damn about that character? Like, the main character from Gears of War, whatever his name is. You know, good old, good old whoever the fuck. That's, that's an example of a character like that for me. Some of you may feel differently, that's fine. We are all entitled to our own opinions. Just understand that you're wrong. Understand, be willing to admit that you're wrong about that, and we can all move forward as better people. So this is the second to last floor. Second, well, third to last floor, so I may at the very end decide to pick up... What do we have here? Anything I care about? I may want to pick up either Yuffie's Shawl or, if I can scrounge the money together for it, the Surefire Rocket, and then take the Golden Saber. Would love to. Okay. Why is my aim so off? There. J 
just to power up Captain's Ring. Trust me when I say I really am not going to use this. And that might disappoint some of you, but yeah, I just have no real reason to. That was gonna be enough. <laughs> silly, <laughs> silly magician. And that's why I took the Tifty Gladius. All right. Well, we definitely have the money for the Surefire Rocket. Now. Which, that's amazing to me, because that just, that's just signature spam for days. I am A-OK -okay with that. And then we will take Golden Saber of Envy. That is some nice damage bonus right there. Now let's see how quickly we can rock shoe socks. For whatever reason, I thought it was a single fireball. Ugh, why have I been having so much trouble dodging that lately? Rivali doesn't swing an axe, so no. Honestly, I'm relatively happy with what I have. There we go. Loving it. Look at that. Alright, we're killing it now. are just melting. Um, yeah, I don't really think there's anything else here I want to pick up. Yeah, none of this is really all that useful. Except for Sleepy Thunderstone might be a bit more useful than, you know, Wallet of Vigor. At this point, Wallet of Vigor's usefulness has ended, so we will say goodbye to it. It has been a good friend to us, make no mistake. Unlike Rivali, he is a terrible friend. Like, people like Rivali is the, are the reason why phrases like if you have friends like that who means enemies. They are people like Rivali are the reason why that phrase is a thing. Stone. Strangely enough, that was the killing blow, was Sparrow Windstone. Don't ever forget it, those stones are good. Alright, well, that was the Rivali run. Done in really good time, too, for one of my runs. Not bad at all. 
Well, never, never let it be forgotten. Revali is a dick. And for some people, that's what makes the character endearing. It's just, for me, he crosses the line a little too hard. But, again, if I absolutely hated the character, I probably wouldn't have featured him in the theme run. So, make of that what you will. But, thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel. There's obviously going to be more stuff coming along in the near future. Do the like, comment, subscribe dance. And, hey, check me out on my social media. I've... Got a very interesting idea for a, for a Wizard of Legend theme, and I'm... It's going to be different from this, that's all I'm going to say. So, let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments. Again, if you have any interesting build ideas, put them in my Discord. I do look at that pretty frequently, and that's all I've got for right now. So, I will catch you guys later. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.